hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is abiola and in today's tutorial we're taking the second part of the tutorial i uploaded last without wasting time let's just head into the tutorial of today the first thing we're going to do now is to cut on fabric i just want to show that on camera so that we do not make any mistakes on the shoulder area add 0.5 inch seam allowance and the front part add one inch seam allowance okay and the down part you're going to add 0.5 inch seam allowance after doing that proceed to cut everything just like i have said one inch seam allowance at the center back area because this is the back pattern 0.5 inch allowance down here and at the same time do not forget to add your 0.5 inch seam allowance at the shoulder area i would proceed to notch the allowances before i remove my pattern later okay now this is for the second part of the back pattern that's b you're going to cut out four pieces two pieces for the lining and two pieces for the main fabric you're going to add 0.5 inch seam allowance at the top as you can see me doing and 0.5 inches at the center back area okay so i made four pieces of that now to cut out this one for the front pattern you're going to cut out two pieces and it has to be on fold so you're going to add 0.5 inches seam allowance at the top okay the next thing we need to cut at this point is front pattern a so um to cut there's the same thing we did at the back add one inch to the center front area 0.5 inch at the shoulder and 0.5 inches down here guys do not be like me i actually made mistake i did not add 0.5 inches down here which implied that i had to go and cut out a fresh one do not forget to notch the allowance area and do not also forget to notch this dart area this part that will cut out notch the first side where the dart ends and notch the second side where the dart ends you will find out the importance as we move along now now let's work on the front pattern we have two pieces of the front pattern and what we are going to do is to hem the front pattern the two of them so you're going to fold in the first 0.5 inches after which you fold again just to hem it and the importance of that notch is to know where to stop you can go ahead and iron this before you go to hem it on your sewing machine just for it to be neater and you can hem and iron after just do the one that works for you after which go ahead and do the same thing for the back pattern as well hem the one inch allowance there you can take it to your ironing table first to iron the allowance you have to you can mark it then go ahead to iron it to ensure that everything is you know um accurate before you go to your sewing machine to hem it fold it twice 0 0.5 0 0.5 and that's it basically here is what i have when i was done with the front pattern i've gone ahead to hem mine and here's what i have okay so um the next step would be to bring out the front pattern b which is this one okay remember we'll cut it on fold and we'll cut out two pieces of that so what i'm going to do now is to go ahead to notch the midpoint of this um front pattern b i noticed that i had only notched one so i went ahead to notch the two of them together so you need to notch the both of them okay so after doing that it's time to form pleats at this area where we notched the dart earlier on if you remember i told you guys to notch where the dart end so what i'm going to do at this point now is to form pleats at this area and i want the pleat to face the center front area and i'm going to use pins to hold it down i'll go ahead to do the same thing for the second part of the front pattern like i said i want the pleats to face the center front area so that they can you know match okay basically so they'll be facing each other when you see them so as you can see the pleats are facing each other here at this point the next step is to quickly head over to your sewing machine at this point and hold the pleats down so that they do not you know move when you start stitching the other part i have gone ahead to do mine now i'm going to go ahead to match them at this midpoint area and i'm going to do that right sides facing each other okay so i am going to use my pins to hold that down okay after pinning them as shown i'm going to proceed now to stitch them using 0.5 inch seam allowance and here is what i have when i was done now i'm going to place the second part on top of it like this this time around right sides facing the wrong side and i'm going to go ahead to pin it down like i did before 
to make this easy for me i pinned from the front where i have already stitched and when i went to my sewing machine to stitch i stitched from the front just to follow the exact stitch i made before before we head over to our sewing machine we're going to push in this um front pattern a underneath the front pattern b just like this and like i said let me just pin this part properly so that you guys will understand everything i'm trying to do after pinning it down so you push in this front pattern a properly inside the front pattern b and proceed to pin it down properly just like you see me doing make sure that that front pattern a is not caught up in what you're pinning okay because this is going to give you a lot of work if you are going to have to start loosening things again so go ahead to stitch the top part and the down part using 0.5 inch same allowance here is what i have guys when i was done with mine okay so um i've stitched the top part using 0.5 and i've stitched the down part as well using 0.5 same allowance now you're going to go ahead to flip it to the right side and here is what i have when i was done so you're just going to go ahead to iron this very very well so that it looks very nice and flat the next step is to cut out the ropes and the rope you're going to fold your fabric into two just like you see me doing both of them are folded into two i'm going to tell you the measurements now the length of this rope is 29 inches and in order to know the width of the rope what you have to do is to bring in your pattern paper measure what you have on this fabric what i have there is about 4.2 inches remember we're going to use 0.5 inches to stitch the up part and 0.5 inches to stitch the down part that's to close up the down part so whatever we have left is what we're going to use to cut our rope do you get so 4.2 inches minus 1 inch is going to give me about 3.2 inches to that 3.2 inches i'm going to add 0.5 inches allowance that i used to stitch the rope so i'm supposed to have 3.7 inches now let's go ahead to give this rope the nice funnel shape they usually get to have what we'll do is to come down by four inches from the end then connect from that point in a cover like manner to the end of the rope remember we are stitching this using 0.5 inch seam allowance to the end okay i'll do the same thing on the second rope as well and i'll go ahead to stitch it so you stitch using 0.5 inches before you cover it to the end and you do the same thing for the second one 0.5 inches before you cover it to the end so here is what i have guys and what i'm going to do at this point now is to get rid of the excess allowance i'm going to cut that off and flip it to the right side and go ahead to iron it properly so i have gone ahead to iron them and here is what i have guys now let's work on the back part remember we have four pieces of the back pattern two for the uh, main fabric and two for the lining so what i'm going to do now is to separate them into the two sides like where they should be actually having positioned them into how they should look i'm going to remove the top part and keep one aside after doing that i'll try to note 0.5 inches at this top part after doing that i'll come down and also note 0.5 inches below then i'll proceed to put the rope in between the two points that i have marked then i'll go ahead to place the second pattern that i had removed i would um, go ahead to pin them down then head over to my sewing machine to stitch at that point using 0.5 inch same allowance i'll do the same thing for the other part as well i'll remove one of the patterns i would mark 0.5 inch at the top and i'll also mark 0.5 inch below then put the rope in between the two points then place the other part that i had removed earlier on top of it and pin it down here is what i have when i was done stitching guys okay i went ahead to flip it to the right side so that you see what it looks like okay the both of them look the same now it's time to bring the back pattern that you had worked on earlier and what you're going to do at this point is to go ahead and place this in between like you're going to place this from this point to the end and you're going to pin it down go ahead to pin it down from beginning to the end pin it down carefully okay and there's something you're going to notice you're going to notice that the back pattern a is a bit wider than the back pattern b and that is not a problem just pin it down to the end okay and then um, do the same thing for the second part pin it down from beginning to the end
After pinning it down, the next step is to go ahead to stitch that part using 0.5 inch seam allowance, okay? Before we head over to our sewing machine, you would also push in the other part inside, inward, just like we did for the front part, and also pin it down as well. You would also be stitching that part using 0.5 inch seam allowance for the both of them, okay? And here is what I have when I was done. I went ahead to trim off every excess seam allowance at this area, and I cut off the edge because it's very important for this part to be very smooth when we flip it to the right side and iron it okay so here's what i have when i was done guys can you see how it looks can you see can you see can you see everything is looking good already now i'm going to go ahead to trim off the excess allowance at this side i told you guys not to worry at all so i'll trim this one out and also trim that of the second side out as well After doing this, I'm going to bring the front pattern, I'm going to place it right side facing upward and I'm going to place the back pattern on top of it, right side facing the right side basically and the first thing I'm going to do guys is to pin the shoulders first off with my pins. So I'm just going to go ahead to quickly show you guys how I did that, okay? So you um, pin the shoulders for the right side and pin the shoulders for the left side as well and once you're done with that okay i'm going to go ahead now to also um pin the sides okay and for the sides you need to ensure that the sides align perfectly you know and um, the underbust area you need to ensure that the underbust area for the front aligns with that of the back so that it looks like a professional um top that you made so i'm going to go ahead to pin all the points together now okay i'll pin this side and also go ahead to pin the other side this is the side i want to align this side i'm pinning now i want it to align with the front area i'll also pin the armhole area after pinning all of this i'll go to my sewing machine to stitch the shoulders using 0.5 inch seam allowance and i would also stitch the side using one inch seam allowance since that's the allowance i added there at the time so we finally come to the end of this part of the tutorial in the next one i'll show you how i cut the sleeve and how i attached it as well as the turtleneck how i cut and attached everything i'll see you in the next one guys bye